Hello, beautiful soul. Hi, welcome back. Here I am together with our angels to connect with them with their love and check what message they have for us for this very first week of December. Can you believe we are in December already? It's the last month of the year and we're coming to an end to a closure of a cycle with a very joyful energy actually the month of december always carries this very happy and peaceful and hopeful kind of energy so it's my favorite month of the year and i'm really happy to um be starting this month right now so welcome back the guidance today is gonna be for the week of december 1st through december 7th 2019 Let's check out what the angels have for us. So I got one of the decks I'm using today here. And let's see. Let's start with the guidance. So cool. Yeah, they gave us four cards already. And that way it's easier to understand. So we have divine timing, meditation, healing, and balance. Ooh, beautiful soul. So let me, let me show you the cards first. We got divine timing here divine timing and we have meditation and we have balance and we have healing so beautiful soul what are they telling you today they are telling us actually with these four cards that right now this is a moment like i told you it's a moment of closure of a cycle right there are many things coming to an end and we are all 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 of us globally talking getting ready for new beginnings getting ready for shifts of energy that's not because we're following a timeline but that's because the energy is stronger now because there is a, a greater number of people in the planet in the same vibration you know, building up this hopeful uh, feelings and energies about the next year and all of us, you know, getting in in a connection with our families and having this joyful energy. So because of this, because there is a greater number of people all together with the same focus, with the same energy, of course, this vibration gets stronger for all of us. So what they are asking us to start this month first of all as always meditate okay meditation is important right now why because this is the place where you find yourself this is the place where you find that inner peace this is the place where you find that true joy okay if you're not in that inner state of joy it's not going to be possible for you to feel this connection to really feel these energies that december is bringing us so it's a moment of going inwards, of doing some kind of inner work, okay? Why? Because balance, we need to find balance right now. What they ask for us, what they want from us is that we start the new year, we start 2020 in a more balanced state, in a more harmonized state in a state where everything is working somehow in a perfect way. Our spiritual side with our human side, working together as one. So it's not just about feeling hopeful, it's not just about feeling peaceful and feeling joyful and all these things, but it's about bringing these divine energies, because these are all divine energies, they are all connected with love, right? Positive feelings, they all come from love. So when we are actually working in that, we are actually bringing that to our lives itself, to our daily lives. Why? Because you are vibrating with those energies and therefore your life will only result, will only reflect the same energy towards you, towards yourself. So you will have more and more reasons to be peaceful, to be joyful, to be happy. So find that inner balance, find that inner peace through meditation right now, okay? And another thing that is important to start thinking about and that is, they're saying now, it is needed to do, it's a must for the month of December is working towards your healing, okay? Do not enter 2020 with a lot of heavy feelings and a lot of heavy stuff to be healing 
okay start your healing journey now start releasing now okay start going deeper now if you don't want to go and do energy work at least find that healing find that balance that the healing brings through meditation okay dedicate yourself this month for this inner work for your healing for your inner peace for your joy for your fun for having fun for finding balance and for meditation okay it's only one month so you know just challenge yourself this month to look for this healing to look for this balance to meditate more just this month because it's really super important for you to step into 2020 with this with this inner light with your heart opened with this balance this proper connection between your soul and your body in your life okay think about this whatever energy you're starting 2020 is the energy you're gonna be dragging yourself you know and, and bringing with yourself through the year so be conscious be mindful about starting making sure you start 2020 in a balanced state in a more healed state in a more happy state because they want you to have these exact feelings throughout the year and the beginning of a cycle is so important when it comes to the energy you're bringing to it you know that old story that everybody says like you know if you're starting something but you don't believe in it of course it's not gonna happen right it's the same thing so they want you to be building up this hopeful this joyful this peaceful state so you can start your ear in the same vibration and then your ear will only be a result of that vibration you know what i mean you will be attracting things to your life that will resonate in that energy okay so be mindful do not allow yourself to step into the next year carrying heavy stuff from 2019 carrying you know resentment carrying hurt carrying anger no start your healing now that's why they are beginning the month to give you enough time to do this inner work during this this uh, month okay be mindful about what you want to manifest in 2020 be mindful about what you want to experience in 2020 because that has everything to do with the first energies you bring into the new year okay so be very mindful about that and this is what they are that's why they are giving us the divine timing card because it's important two things here first divine timing always applies okay the divine timing is always apply, being applied so things will happen when is the right time okay that's one energy that they want you to understand this uh this month and for the beginning of, to, of 2020 the divine timing will timing will apply always okay so first step into to, into 2020 knowing that throughout the year things will happen when is the right time bring yourself into that peaceful state of mind where you know the divine is working with you the divine is bringing you what you need the most at the right time so you don't start 2020 with that energy of anxiety you actually start 2020 in an energy of trust that's what they want for all of this all these things that they're talking about here okay uh, meditation healing balance all these things in the end of the day what they want from this the result from from this would be the trust that needs to be built in you so they want you to start the next year like i told you not you know with your expectations but with trust with hope understanding that the divine will always be working to help you as long as you are vibrating in the energy that you want to attract then the divine timing will help you the, the, the divine will work towards bringing you what you need for every step of the journey 
Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing, when it comes to divine timing, like they told you before, this is the time to start working in yourself. You have, it's the last chance for 2019 for you to start healing. It's your last chance in 2019 for you to start finding balance, for you to start working your inner peace, for you to start, you know, working in yourself. So this is the perfect time. That's what they want you to understand. Don't wait anymore. You know, don't wait. It's so weird because... We keep on waiting for the thing, you know, some things that we procrastinate, sometimes we give excuse and we say, ah, it's not the time, it's not the right time, I'm waiting for the, you know, divine timing to do that. And then the things that we truly want and we don't get it, you know, yesterday, we blame the divine, right? We say, no, because they're not giving me what I ask and it's taking too long. But then, I mean, you know what I mean? It's just a matter of what are you getting from it? your perspective, you know, into the things that you're manifesting, into the things you're experiencing, if it's making sense. But what I wanted to understand anyways, is that, you know, they're giving you the guidance now, they're giving you the message, they're giving you the answers, okay? Follow your healing right now, meditate more, you know, really dedicate your energy this month to work in yourself and to find that inner balance this is the right time to do that it, you know don't don't wait anymore okay this is the perfect time but when it comes to working in yourself that's why they want you to work in yourself so you will step in 2020 feeling balanced enough that your trust in the universe will be strong and powerful. So you will know and you will understand that everything in 2020 will happen at the perfect and most amazing time for you. Okay, they really want you to focus on that right now. All right, beautiful soul. Let me check um, another card. Let me see this one. Let me see what else they want to tell us about this. Let me see what i what i want now is that they tell us apart from meditation what else can you and me and all of us be doing now to work on that healing so we have listen hmm. you are a light worker god needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants so this is the next thing that they want us to do start shining your light towards others okay because when you're healed when you're finding that inner balance you start to shine your light you start to be yourself you start to be authentic and when you are in that vibration you touch other people as well when you're ha when you're happy when you're peaceful you bring that peace you bring that happiness to other people as well Okay, so what they want for you during this month is that you are more connected with people. Take this opportunity, you know, they're saying this so strongly right now. Take this opportunity, like I told you, it's the last month of the year. Take this opportunity to begin forgiving, to begin letting go, to begin uh, helping people, donating stuff, donating things. You know, doing some kind of charity, doing some kind of humanity work. You know, just being there for someone, doing something, even if you think it's small, it's nothing. It does make a difference. Start shining your light now because you do have that beautiful inner light within you. So why not? Why not sharing it? Why not vibrating in that light? Why not working into being that light as stronger as you can so you can touch other people with that beautiful light you have the beautiful light you are that's what they want because then the feeling of actually um helping people the feeling of actually doing char charity work or the feeling of um you know helping someone randomly that feeling will come when you're working in that inner balance, when you're working in that inner peace, when you're peaceful with yourself, when you're happy with yourself, 
these feelings of helping others, these feelings of doing any kind of work or anything, just a word, just saying good morning to someone, the feeling, the inspiration to do so will be a result of that inner work. So you won't be forced. It's not that you have to help someone if you are feeling that this is a responsibility, if you're feeling that you have to do it. You know what I mean? There's a huge difference here. You're going to do it because you feel like doing it. Because within yourself, that's, you know, there. It, this is something that you won't even question. That's what they want you to understand. So work in yourself, meditate more, and allow these feelings to be built in you, to be built within yourself, and to to allow your inner life to get stronger and to expand and to touch other people as well. Don't think about yourself only right now. Think about your inner work. Think about what you can do for you to feel better, but then allow that inner light to also shine, to also touch others. Okay, beautiful soul. It's so beautiful. I love this. I hope you're enjoying too. I hope this is touching your heart today. Anyways, thank you as always. Thank you so much for being here with me. I am still so happy to be um with you guys again like i told you thank you so much for everybody who commented on my previous uh video i love you guys so much thank you so much for your lovely kind beautiful words you know i'm so happy that you guys are still here with me that you are still here walking with me thank you so much for your support and let's do this together okay let's work together towards our healing towards our balance towards our growth and our expansion okay because we are one so let's do this together okay deal i hope you have a wonderful week beautiful soul and may the angels guide you and inspire you during this week for you to do what they are asking you to do right now okay take good care of yourself thank you so much for joining me don't forget subscribe okay click in the subscribe button below and click also in the bell right next to it so you will be notified when a new video comes through okay and i wish you again a wonderful wonderful week and a wonderful beginning of december take good care of yourself and i'll talk to you soon namaste